how are indian travelers different from american travelers or any other travelers around the world i i think it's a process of evolution so i don't think and by the way i don't know american travelers uh, by data i know nris in the us okay let's talk about nris that's how we started yeah. so nris in the us raj i must say are far more aware and i'm talking about the typical yeah most of them are pretty mm-hmm. savvy tech there's not uk nri is very different us nri is typically either went you know engineering day 60s 70s mm-hmm. their kids or they went in the tech boom and all here so they're very um, sophisticated online even way back in 2000 they were happy to book online mm. they knew their rights as a consumer they knew that there is something if we went and applied for better business bureau they said agar wo uska hai agar koi panga hoga on my credit card i'll get my money back indian consumers still not that going back to the fear point right so not maybe that aware okay. of the average consumer online okay. offline maybe you know mm. i don't know that well i know the consumers really online but i think it's evolution i think we are also changing going back to the earlier point of exposure indians are definitely getting aware of uh, their rights uh, they want to get everything so it's not now they're saying yaar dar dar ke so there's a age divide my theory is most people who are above the age of 45 50 today are technophobes I won't take names. I was shocked. One of my friend, I was on this flight, and I download shows, and this friend of mine said, "How do you do that?" Uh, my son does it for me. I say, "Are you kidding me? It's like this is how you do it. Boom, boom, boom. You're done, and you download. It takes very long." I said, "On Wi-Fi, it takes like literally, you know, mm. like a minute, and mm. while you're doing one, the next is this thing." A friend of mine, one of my closest friends, wasn't aware. So there's a technophobe phobia. Yeah. Forty-five, fifty. अगर आपने उससे पहले सीख लिया बट यंगस्टर्स ऑन दी अदर हैंड यू सी एनी वन लेस देन फोर्टी आई थिंक दे डोंट इवन थिंक इट्स सेकंड नेचर एग्जैक्टली एंड यू लुक एट अंडर थर्टी व्हिच इज वेर यू हु आर आई मीन पीपल आर मोर कंफर्टेबल आई थिंक ऑनलाइन देन ऑफलाइन ट्रू सॉरी यू वांट समथिंग नो आई एम गुड या पीपल आर मोर कंफर्टेबल ऑनलाइन इट्स जस्ट सेकंड नेचर इट्स क्लिक 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 इट्स ऑन दी एप्स इनफैक्ट दे आर सो फास्ट आई सी यंगस्टर्स आई डोंट थिंक आई एम दैट फास्ट या लाइक इन फ्लिकिंग एंड दैट tricks on the phone which probably i don't know which i should know and they'll start laughing oh my god you're actually going through this why don't you just do this and then okay now point <laughs> noted I'll. so i think we're getting more and more used to our rights um i think some parts there is an awkwardness where what i what maybe i see that happening i see there's awkwardness and there's maybe even if i can say a lack of politeness in the dealing So I think there's a bit of what I don't like. It's a qualitative thing. There's a bit of swagger which comes in with a bit of money, new money, and then people tend to be rude. Like I find that on, like I see that on planes, and really bothers me because this young aerostess has got trained. She's trying to do her best, but people are ye agar nahi mila. I'm not talking about the infamous videos and all, which mm-hmm. are terrible, where mm-hmm. people didn't get a sandwich. That's like disgusting. But even otherwise, how they deal with it. So the average Indian is very respectful, I must say. But there is enough people on the around, you know, just learn, learn, be, will come. You know, which I think is maybe part of just uh, more and more exposure and explaining, actually, almost like how it works. So, it's also, it's all, it also has to do a lot with. Correct me if I'm wrong, right? new money and influence yeah i think so hmm. i think you put it in a better way right yeah also people tend to be i think we tend to be loud as indians so there yeah. was a famous book which was written the argumentative indian oh, it's yeah. a brilliant book but we are also very loud so when we go out to places also and all we end up being really you know loud as <laughs> loud and it's almost like i get i do get embarrassed sometimes uh, you know when you're international this thing everyone else is quiet i think it's indians maybe italians and a few other people who are loud but that's more katana we are like that only yeah. so that's what we are over time that will also happen or maybe that's our distinctive feature it's also not south east west mm-hmm. divide so while i'm a proud punjabi but we are the loudest which is quite sad <laughs> but uh, most of the rest of the country are very like actually calm south you'll see typically especially if you see i think uh, you know tamil nadu for sure uh even kanadigas and all they won't flash their money hmm they have a lot of money but it's understated which is a great similarly with even bengalis the big travelers gujaratis big travelers the biggest travelers are gujaratis and bengalis hmm. indians they won't flash their money uh north indians tend to be a little loud and aggressive so they love some, some learning to do 
Yeah, they yeah. they love doing that. Yeah. Oh my God, my LV bag! You need to put it up there. <laughs> Shucks, man! A big board like that all, yeah. all over the place. Yeah, and now the guy have arrived. I have arrived. Do you do? Did you ever went through that phase where you were like, I want to show off my wealth? I there mean, must be some I must phase. I'm just saying, never, ever, you, ever, ever. Um, never. Never there was a phase where you would walk in like with a big Gucci belt or you know, like some brand oh belt. Oh my like, god, you should ask anyone. On. I don't never ever I'm, I'm embarrassed of certain things and I get really bad. I don't have that kind of stuff honestly. I don't I've never been like I take great pride in. So by the way, every day I come to office I wear this I empty t-shirt set. It's simple, na. So what's your what's your craving for status? There is there is some level of thing where and I don't believe that people don't chase status. status for everybody is different for some people it's philanthropic some people is impact some people is money some people is materialistic things it's definitely not materialistic not it's embarrassing not at all not at all no. i mean i i think that I, uh what do you love to flex let's just talk about that i wish i could say my muscles but that's also not <laughs> my son makes fun but i have to get fitter no you are uh, very fit uh, you look so well. so I have not even flex but I definitely am in the phase. So at 50 I decided, I'm 53 now I decided I want to go uh <coughs> non-executive. Okay. And there were one big reason and one big factor that I could do it and even think of that. I didn't do it at 50. Uh the reason was time is running out. I want to do many other things in life and most of it was not another venture but most of it around you know call it give back or whatever yeah. you know and have enough time for family yeah. also self also mentoring youngsters blah 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 all good stuff because i did feel it's a logical time mm. to do that but the only reason i could even have this wild dream was i had rajesh as a co-founder mm. who i think is a much better ceo than i am and far more like um, you know i'm also detail oriented i'm actually obsessive about finer points on design and product but like i said maybe i get bored too easily and he doesn't so i could even dream like that hmm and i shared it with him and he says what nonsense and all nahi 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 badhiya chal raha hai you are full time executive chairman i'm ceo we're going to do this i shared with the board this and nothing doing nothing doing and such bad timing covid happened so covid happened and then two years we were just flat out as a company like literally there yeah. was no question khadam hua i brought back that argument so exactly one year ago april 1 of 2022 i i've agreed the deal is non exec but if i'm in town i'm in couple of times so i think i end up doing 40 50% of my time with mmt so quickly explain like what is executive and non executive for everybody is watching yeah so executive is basically you have a, a clear charge and a duty and this is what you're doing every day uh non executive is you are chairman of the board uh but you are not coming in every day or things like that so it's partial because there are few things i'm very involved in still so i love being involved with product and design uh our foundation mmt foundation that's totally mm. uh, something very close to my heart i can say my baby a few of us are involved that i'm very very close to i guess strategy and anything like that i'm still very involved with uh but my span of control now is like technically is, is zero which is great so i love that and uh it's giving me allowing me to do various things uh, like i said on the serious side a lot of mentoring a lot of not for profit stuff is happening which is great various causes close to my heart one or two i'm baking but on the fun side i call it guilt free travel so this year i traveled close to half the year oh uh, sweet yeah we just traveled like crazy to celebrate like all kinds of things also our daughter was graduating south america big trip that's why i was sweet. mentioning colombia but all corners of the world tasmania uh, lapland arctic circle wow. so yeah we crazy travelers and uh, so just to make sure you know my wife's always saying you never have time for me i said aur kahan jana and finally she said bus karo yaar i'm done <laughs> so but we always ready to go somewhere else so it's it's fun and we done f- family travel friends travel just two of us and all so literally solo i haven't done much that's something i want to do i mean i would do it around work but it's something i'm thinking of doing too Oh uh, yeah, solo yeah. Uh, interesting. Yeah, I'd like to. I mean, let's try it out. Like to see, uh, you know. What's the hype? I'm very happy with myself. Actually, I want to even do uh, Vipassana. I think uh, oh. I want to do that. Like I'm curious. There's For one ten life. Ten days, eleven days. Yeah, there's. I think there's eight and ten. Yeah. So one one life. 
कोशिश तो कर लो यार यार थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग राजमानी क्लिप्स प्लीज सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल बिकॉज ऑन दिस चैनल वील ब्रिंग सो मेनी वैल्यूबल क्लिप्स फ्रॉम अवर पॉडकास्ट सम एक्सक्लूसिव क्लिप्स एज वेल विच विल हेल्प यू बिकम द राइट काइंड ऑफ लीडर एंड विच विल हेल्प यू ग्रो इन योर लाइफ